Here at home, success in the federal government's fight against fentanyl in Minnesota, the U.S. Department of Justice announced eight arrests in a drug trafficking ring in Duluth and a new initiative to continue that work. The state reported 1,002 opioid overdose deaths in 2022, and a majority of those were caused by fentanyl. Jay Cole shows us the pushback against the deadly drug. Investigators and prosecutors say fentanyl is spreading rapidly across Minnesota, and this crackdown in Duluth and the Twin Ports area illustrates its reach. We're bringing all our resources to wherever in the state of Minnesota we're needed. U.S. Attorney for Minnesota Andy Luger says St. Louis County experienced a record number of overdoses last year, similar to other counties in the state. As a result, a direct result of the meetings that we had over last year, we realized we needed to put more effort here because of the drug trafficking. Duluth's chief of police say the traffickers out of Chicago saw Duluth and the Twin Ports region as easy targets for fentanyl and meth. People are buying their drugs here at a higher price than what they're selling them for in some of these larger markets. Um, and we also don't have um, the violent competition that we're seeing elsewhere. Last May, Assistant U.S. Attorney for Minnesota Tom Hollenhorst told me the Twin Cities have become a transportation hub for dangerous drugs because Interstate 35 stretches all the way to the border of Mexico. That's one means by which it comes in. And then, of course, you know, Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport is a major airport hub as well. And distributors are getting creative in how they move these drugs. In January, law enforcement busted a fentanyl trafficking operation using stuffed animals to ship pills from Phoenix to the Twin Cities. Investigators now saying stopping the flow of dangerous drugs is critical because it also knocks down other crimes connected to those drugs. Treatment, harm reduction is important, but there needs to be accountability for people that are selling and using U.S. Attorney Andy Luger says he's now opening an office in Duluth with a full-time prosecutor dedicated to the Twin Ports region. I have an interview set up tomorrow with U.S. Attorney Luger, and it will be interesting, Paul, to see what he has to say in greater, in greater detail about all of this. Yeah, we'll be watching Jay Coles tomorrow for that interview. Thank you.